Previously on The Walking Dead. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you'd be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Oneid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Kitty! A little too close, don't you think? Ben! No! Ben! Help her! Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it! We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Looks like something was buried here. Damn. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Think I'll go have a look around. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? Dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house.
empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like something was buried here. A shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oh, God, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. Get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. 
I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Chris and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. All empty. Nothing. Water's off. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. to stop working a while ago. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. How's it coming? style. Nothing hiding in here. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. 
Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny? Kenny. You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. This must have been where he slept. All empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. What a way to live. What a way to die. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. I'm sorry. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Thank you.
Come back here, I'll kill you! You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it! We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you wanna? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more... said I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good.
You think everyone's safe back at the house? Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? Maybe whoever's ringing that is just trying to distract us, create a diversion. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Something like this. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean.
great. Needs a quarter to work. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. Have you been following us? Following you? Get her! <laughs> no, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You 
You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Yeah, that's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick? Anyone too old? Anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please! <sighs> Come on, make it fast! Come on, come on, hurry! Me, come on! Come on, man. One good jump. No! Oh, my God. 
Lee! Get your ass out of there! Ah, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Drainage pipe. 